Now, a lot of you have probably got your own websites at the moment created, what you've put online, and they're sitting there in the search engines, not a lot's happening with them, and you basically don't know why. You need to understand how basically websites get ranked in the search engines. Most people get this wrong. Now, I'm gonna show you one of my sites here, which is basically an affiliate product. This is a product I promote for affiliate commissions. It is basically a piece of software that you can create membership sites with. Very good piece of software. I do totally recommend this. I only ever recommend stuff I actually think will help you out. Now, basically what you're seeing here is a, a website created purely to drive traffic to it so that people click on the adverts on this page. Now, this is a, basically a blog, a WordPress blog, and everything on here is relating to one product or driving people to one product. Let's just have a quick look at what we've got here. Basically, as I said to you, it's a basic blog. This didn't cost nothing to create. It's just knowing how to do it. So I've chose a product on ClickBank. The product, uh, obviously, is Easy Member Pro. It's a membership uh, site software script. Very reasonable one. That, that's another story anyway. What you can do, or what most people tend to do as a beginner when they try to promote an affiliate product, is they buy a domain name, which used to work, but not so much really nowadays. They used to buy a domain name, point that domain name to their affiliate link, which they got from ClickBank, and use AdWords, Google AdWords, or pay-per-click advertising to drive traffic to their uh, link. Google have now really changed the uh, move the goalposts with regards to how you can advertise these sorts of affiliate sites now, and that's not the really way to do it anymore. If you're advertising the search engines, they want to see a lot more relevant content with regards to how your pages are going to rank. What other people tend to do as well is they buy a domain name, they point it to the affiliate site, hoping that that domain name is going to get ranked in the search engines. Well, that just doesn't happen. You used to be able to do that sort of stuff, but again, that's old hat now, a few years down the line. The search engines have changed. They need to be seeing regular content. Now, the sort of things you want to be doing is creating possibly review sites promoting that product and having enough content and uh, the system set up correctly, what the search engines are going to like to get your website ranked for the main keyword which you're trying to promote. So let's have a look at this site, for example. This is um, Easy Member Pro software, which I'm obviously promoting. Now, as I said to you, this is a WordPress blog. This is a template, a free template, which I've per not purchased, don't have to purchase this. So what basically it is, is a WordPress blog, and on there I've got a few things. Google likes to see a few things. Google likes to see the SEO, search engine optimization for on-page, and also search engine optimization for off-page. So let's just tackle, initially, the search engine optimization for the on-page. Now, initially, it is the product is called Easy Member Pro, so obviously, if you're going to buy a domain name, you want to really have the domain name in the domain name itself, which I have actually got there. The, the actual website domain name, as you can see, is easymemberproreview.co.uk. That's one tick for me. What you also need in the uh, website title, in other words, on the little tab there, as you can see what pops up when you type your domain name in, and you get the tab come up on the top of the browser there, that wants to include your main keyword, which again is Easy Member Pro. That's the word I want to be ranked for in Google. That's what I'm trying to show the search engines that my site is relevant to. So that's another thing as well. What also Google likes to see is the keyword appearing within uh, the main script of the site uh, a certain amount of times, for example. And also, it wants to see other related keywords within this, your main body of text on your website, for example. So it can determine whether or not the keyword you're trying to rank for is obviously going to be relevant. So basically, I've got a, a quite a, a long piece of script here. It might be about five, 600 words. I'm not too sure. I can't remember what I actually did. And as you can see, in the links there, there's the links there to the, the, the actual affiliate link of the product which I'm promoting. And that is, again appears a few times within the actual script on the site. Probably best in the first paragraph, somewhere in the middle, and obviously the last paragraph as well. Those are the main important places, basically. So, again, satisfying the criteria of seeing the keyword, making sure it's relevant. 
And what I've also done to create a uh, user, stimulate the uh, interest for the user, I've actually created a video on YouTube. Again, the video on YouTube has got the name of the product in the title, and also the YouTube description has got a link back to this site as well. You want links back to your site because obviously it is an authority site, YouTube, and Google spiders the uh, YouTube channel very, very often because it's got plenty of updated content. And if my links are there, it will get me an extra link back to the site. Again, on the site, I'm looking at uh, placing the ads as well. This is an affiliate ad banner, which comes off of the actual Easy Member Pro website. If you join up as an affiliate, they give you these banners free where you just click on them and that takes you straight to the, uh, the sales page for the product. So that component is on there as well. So I've covered the main parts here and also what I've also done to try and generate a list myself, I've also put my own website, Aweber, uh, list building tool there, which basically uh, people leave their first name, email and address, uh, email address and their name, for example, and I will send them a free course just for the, the, the point of giving me their, their name. So what that does for me in the future, that gives some people something which they may be interested in, it builds a list in my autoresponder, and then in the future, as that list grows and grows, I can send that list line them up affiliate offers that's basically how you create a website for affiliate sales for example now it doesn't just end there most people get these basics uh, wrong now what i'm going to show you now is a little piece of software where you can actually check your own website so let's say for example you've got a website created and you don't know you you, th you think you've done the right things it's very hard to know exactly what what is wanted but once you've done it a few times you get into the habit and swing of it but I'm going to show you a special tool now, which I use all the time. It's called uh, Traffic Travis, and I'm just going to show you on how you can check your own websites to see whether you are ranking for on-page optimization to make sure you've got everything basically set up correctly to give you some sort of chance of getting into the search engines. So I'm going to take you over to Traffic Travis here now, and this is the main, it's a free piece of software. I've got the professional version here. This is a paid version. And uh, it, it does a bit more for you, but I mean, you can get away for the, what I'm going to show you now. You only need the free version, basically. I'm just going to go to the page analysis tool, and I'm going to put in my web address here from that site I've just shown you. There we go, easymemberproreview.co.uk. That's the site I created. This is the main keyword which I want to rank for because I think I've done a bit of checking, obviously. I've done a bit of research. This is the actual phrase that I want my website or that page optimized for, and that is Easy Member Pro Review. I think people are gonna type in enough people to search for that product. So once you've got your website typed in and your keyword typed in, just press the Analyze button. Now as you can see there, it's come back with an SEO score of A. Now, let's just go to Report Summary and type the website in, and as you can see, the score of A, you can actually get an A plus there. That is the I score, an A plus. But looking down the page, if you just scroll down the page, it tells you exactly all the information with regards to where that keyword should be put in on your page. As you can see, it's in all the places which it says there. And as you can see, I've got one little problem there. The SEO phrase, my SEO, which is obviously Easy Member Pro Review, it should occur at least once for every 100 words, which is one to 4% written on the page. So it's telling me that my phrase, I've got 668 words on the page. It occurs six times, which is only 0.892. So basically, I'm falling just short of that one to 4%. So all I would basically need to do would be to put that phrase, uh, Easy Member Pro Review, one more place in my actual website page, and that will get me an A plus on the uh, search engines for on-page SEO. Now, I'm just gonna drop that down there for a minute now, and I'm gonna bring in Google. And I'm gonna go to Google, and I'm gonna type in my main keyword. Easy Member Pro Review. Now, as I say, that's the word I'm trying to get ranked for. Press search. Now, as you can see, I've only had this site up since the 22nd of Jan. That's when I started uh, advertising this. The date of this recording is uh, the 10th of the 2nd. So it's about three weeks, I suppose. 
And already, out of 229,000 results, position one, position two, position three, there we go, there's my website, easymemberpro.co.uk, and also position four, easymemberpro.co.uk blog post. So I've got two posts, literally, within a very short time, on the first page of Google for an affiliate site, promoting an affiliate product, because I've optimised the page showing you the tricks I've just shown you, and also I've provided relevant content on my page, what Google wants to see. And I've also added the Facebook buttons and the Twitter social media buttons so that people can click on them to favour it with the, the main search engine, uh, the, the main bookmarking systems. And as I said, if I just put that phrase in this text one more time, that would give me an A+, plus, which is the top ranking. That is for on-page search engine optimization. Now, most people get this wrong. They don't understand it. They, they think they know what their search phrase is. And when they type in their software, oh, I'm going to type in loads of keywords here and hopefully get ranked for all of them. Each page individually is only really ranked for one keyword. Okay? So you choose page. I've got other pages here, as you can see. Click on uh, me. This is, again, supporting. This blog's got about three to five pages. Um, again, membership site software. In there, I've, I've tailor-made this page to membership site software. As you can see, that appears in the phrase, membership site software. Again, that's another keyword, but I've tried to do that on a different page, and that might take a bit more work because it's a more popular keyword. But all I'm saying to you there is for the main page, for the software, which I've just tried to promote here, I've got on the first page of Google in probably three weeks uh, with two page listings in the top ten page pages. Now, just to show you, as I say, people get this wrong, I'm going to take you over to... Uh, YouTube here, and I've typed in make money online now and press search. Now, I found this video here of a, obviously a, a young lady promoting her product or whatever. And below there, she's done the right thing, she's put the link in the uh, uh, the description box there, as you can see. And I'm just going to click on that link now to take us to her website. Okay, so this is her. Let's just stop that for a minute. Let's just quit her, um, her website. So, now what I'm going to show you is this is her website and we'll take that and we'll put that into Traffic Travis. I'll leave my one there. Let's go over to there. Paste. Now, I want to know what key phrase she's trying to get to rank for. So let's just have a look at her website. Now again, I've got the Firefox extension here. So I'm on her actual website. And with Firefox, you've got special SEO tools. I'm going to click on her website, right click, and then click SEO for Firefox and then SEO X-Ray. Now, I can see that her description, her meta description is make money online. That's her first one there, and her main keyword is either quit nine to five or make money online. I would suggest she's trying to get ranked for the keyword make money online. Very, very popular keyword, very hard to get ranked. So make money online, let's get rid of that for a minute, hold on, <laughs> keep kicking back to her page. So I'm gonna reduce that down. Make a solid Sorry, I'm gonna cancel that, <laughs> she's chatting away there. And I'm going to type in her keyword there, which is make money online. Okay, so that's her website. That's her main keyword. Let's press analyze. There we go. She's come back with a C. Not very good. Let's just look at the report summary for her website. This could be your website, by the way. And it's giving you a score of C. We'll scroll down the page to find out where she's made her mistakes. Here we go. Should have the SEO phrase in the title, page title, and should have no more than 10 words. She's got two things wrong there. There's her page title. Limited spots available, blah, blah, blah. And the page, it doesn't say, that's what she needs to do, is put the main keyword in there and only limit, limit it to 10 words. The H1 heading. Should use the SEO phrase at least once in a H1 tag. She obviously doesn't. So that's another thing wrong. The phrase occurrences. Again, she's got it. She's got 5,056 words on that page, and it should occur the phrase at least once for every 100 words. She's only got it six times. 0 0.01. She's got no chance at all of getting ranked for that. And the first 50 page, 50 pages or words on the site, and it should appear at least once in the first 50 words, and it doesn't appear there at all. So you can basically do this checks with your website. Go to the Google, go to Traffic Traffic, download it. You can use the free version of it. Find out what your main keyword is you want to rank for on your site or you're trying to rank rank for. 
type it into the uh, the tool as I've just shown you there by clicking the page analysis, and that will take you here. Put your put your website in there, put your keyword in there, and then press analyze, and it will tell you what your SEO on page score is. Now that's not the be all and end of it, but I'm just showing you there that basically with my website. I've got a first page listing with Google using the tips I've just shown you there with Easy Member Pro review site and how I got on the first page of Google there. So you can do the same. This is the first stepping stones of making sure that your on-site on website optimization is actually correct. And then you go to the next stage for off-site optimization. In other words, getting links and things coming back to your site to get you, again, a, a more substantial search engine ranking. Thanks very much. That's Martin signing off now. If you found that useful, do leave a comment underneath. Uh, I'll be pleased to hear from you. Thanks very much indeed. Bye-bye now.